Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be all about ski pants. I've been really into skiing lately and um, I already went on a couple ski trips and I have a couple more planned. So I figured it was time to invest in proper, nice, cute, but also functional ski pants. And surprisingly, it's kind of difficult. There's really, there's a lot of options on the market, but I feel like most of them are maybe geared towards men because the women's options are generally not very flattering. Um, and they tend to be kind of expensive. So I figured I would try out ski pants from as many different brands as possible to find the perfect pair. And I've got everything from um, ski specific brands to uh, just outdoor active wear brands and even some of the more like luxury side of the ski market. Um, I was really curious to see if designer ski wear would be functional um, and would be really worth the extra money. So I've got a whole different range, um, all different styles, ski pants and ski bibs as well. Uh, personally, I prefer a bib. I love a like a onesie. I love feeling sucked in um, and I just really like a one piece. Um, but I know they're not for everyone and ski pants are more versatile. So picked up a couple different options. Um, there are a lot of them. So I might split this video up into two. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it and I will show you everything I got and kind of give you my um, first impressions and thoughts on sizing, fit, price point, uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you have a ski trip planned, then um, keep watching. Okay, so I figured the easiest thing to do would be to show you everything by price point. So we're starting off on the most affordable and affordable is kind of a very relative term for skiing everything about it is expensive so take affordable with like a grain of salt um i actually have a basic pair of snow pants just from amazon um, i'll link it in the description box and if you are new to skiing i recommend just getting that it's about maybe like 40 to 50 dollars um, they have a whole pretty wide range of sizes and colors if you've never skied before just get something like that it's waterproof it'll keep you dry um, it'll be good for you know your basic um, first day on the mountain. But if you are going to ski regularly and you want something a little bit um, more functional, like better waterproofing, um, better breathability, and of course more flattering, then um, that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. So starting off, we have two pairs from the North Face. Um, the North Face, you know, you can get that pretty much everywhere. I figured it was very accessible. Um, and I picked up two different pairs. One is a more streamlined fit and one is more of a relaxed style so i wanted to compare them two okay so the men's version of this pant is extremely popular um, i think because of the price point and because it's good quality so i picked up the women's version obviously to try out and i got it in this balsam green which i really like this color um, i think it's pretty common for you know people to wear black or white on the mountain and i try to stay away from white just because i feel like you blend in with the snow and i really don't want to get hit um, and then black, everyone kind of wears black, so it can be hard to find your friends or for your friends to find you. So having some color on the mountain is nice. Um, so I got this really cute, kind of like forest, soft forest green, um, which I think is a really flattering color. And this one is a cargo style. So it's got a lot of pockets. It's more of a relaxed leg, uh, very functional. You have like zipper pockets on the hip, then you have cargo pockets on the side that are all shut. Um, a do look a little, not sloppy, but like definitely relaxed. So maybe if you're a snowboarder, you would like something like this. Um, I thought they fit true to size, especially on the waist. They have uh, Velcro tabs. You can adjust it and tighten it a little bit on the waist. Um, and yeah, these are just really cute, really functional. They're about 150 bucks. So um, for the price, I think these are great quality. Uh, the only thing is you might want something a little bit more sleek and tight fitting, which brings me to pair number two. So the next option that I got from the North Face is a streamlined, like tighter fitting pant. Um, I think this style is relatively new and I got it in the same balsam green color. Uh, the other, the cargo style came in a ton of different colors, but this one, I think because it's newer, it only comes in two, this green and a white. And this one I thought fit a lot more tight. Like I know it was supposed to be a sleeker fitting pant, but it was definitely too tight for me. I'd probably have to size up, so I'd recommend going up one size. Um, both of these are fleece lined, so if you like an insulated pan or you are someone who is generally pretty cold um, outside, then I would recommend uh, getting a fleece lined or an insulated ski pan. That's personally what I go for. And I do wear a full set of base layers underneath, so I've got 
um, merino wool leggings and a merino wool uh, top. Like, and I would recommend something like this that can zip all the way up um, just because that neck area gets exposed between your jacket and your goggles and it's surprising like, how cold like the lower half of your face can get if you don't have um, a neck gaiter and something like if you don't have a gaiter something that zips up like this um, is better than nothing so definitely recommend getting a zip top and then you can always fold it down um, when you're not skiing um, these also have the adjustable tabs but they're on the inside I do think these are really flattering, um, especially for the $150 price point. And they're very, very sleek. Um, they have basically a very simple design, front and back. Um, there's really like not much to detract from the pants. Um, these do have a hidden pocket, it's a small pocket, um, but sometimes sleeker fitting ski pants don't have pockets at all, so I thought that was a nice touch. Um, and yeah, these are really cute, really flattering. I'd recommend going one size up, like I mentioned, and I think at the more affordable side of the ski pant market, um, these are a really nice fit. Like they kind of look like a good dupe for perfect moment or, you know, like the $600 and up ski pants. So, and then next up, I looked at specific like ski and snowboard brands. Um, I figured maybe they would be, have like better technical design, um, be more flattering. So I tried out two brands, Burton and Obermeyer. Burton is primarily a snowboarding company. They're founded in Vermont and they kind of pioneered snowboarding as you know, a hobby on the mountain and they got ski resorts in the area to start opening up to snowboarders. And then the other brand is called Obermeyer. Obermeyer is primarily a ski brand. Um, they're based out of Aspen, Colorado, I think and they uh, really impressed me actually. So I have a couple different options to show you. Okay, so let's start first with Burton. Burton is a snowboarding brand, like I mentioned, but snow pants are snow pants and you can pretty much wear, like snowboarders can wear ski gear and vice versa for the most part. Um, so the first one I got is a bib. Like I said, I was really hoping to get the perfect bib and, and I thought this one was really um, impressive. It's a really good quality material. It's quite thick, I would say it's mid-weight. Um, this one is more of a shell, so it's not fleece lined, um, but it's a mid-weight kind of feeling, so I feel like if you wear base layers and a mid-layer um, up top, then you definitely won't be cold on the mountain, and then of course a ski jacket on top. It's a little bit more expensive, I feel like it's around the two, 220, maybe 250 range, um, but I thought this one had a lot of really nice design features, so it has a ton of pockets. There's a nice zipper pocket up top, then you have side pockets and pockets on the back as well. Um, the bib is a kind of classic overall style where you can fully adjust the straps, which is always really helpful. Um, and it crisscrosses in the back, which I think is a cute design feature. I would say sizing runs slightly large, slightly more relaxed, um, but snowboarding clothes in general tend to be a baggier fit. So it could just be that. Um, I got this in an extra small and I will put all my sizing info in the description if that's helpful. Um, I might try it again in one size smaller just because this is a little bit loose in the waist and the back and a little bit too long. Um, in general, I think Burton is probably better suited to taller girls, like if you are 5'8", 5'9", or taller. Um, the pant legs are very, very long and I shorten the straps all the way. Um, and still like the torso is a little bit long for me and the, the legs as well. Um, but I thought it was really good quality and it has leg vents as well. So sometimes when you're skiing, you get hot so you can unzip the inside thighs to let in some air and kind of prevent yourself from overheating. Um, I love all the pockets and it has belt loops as well. Although I've never seen anyone actually use a belt on the mountain, so I don't really know why ski pants have belt loops, um, but it's, it's good to have if you need to tighten it further. And I also really love the color. Um, it's kind of this pale gray blue, almost lavender or gray, depending on the light. Um, and my ski jacket is kind of like a light blue, so I figured it matched pretty well. Um, unfortunately, the bib was just a little bit too big for me, but I think it's really, really great quality, so I would definitely check out Burton. And then I also picked up a pair of pants from Burton to try. These were also really long on me, so again, I think Burton is is like a good brand to check out if you're tall. I think this is their most popular style. It's the Gloria pant, um, and I got it in an extra small it is low rise which i wasn't expecting um i'm so used to like high rise pants now that these felt kind of weird to put on um, but they have a lot of pockets super functional and it comes in all different um styles too so you can get it fleece lined if you want an insulated pant you can get it just waterproof like water resistant um, or you can get it in gore-tex which is like the highest waterproof rating um, so i picked them up in the gore-tex and again 
These are a little bit more expensive. I think they're like mid 200s, uh, but for the quality and the features, I do think it's worth the price. Um, it's just all about the fit. And for me, because these were low rise, I didn't end up keeping them, but they have leg vents, tons of pockets. They have the cuffs underneath as well to block out snow. So really, really functional. And I like the color as well. And I also tried out some bibs and pants from Obermeyer. They are primarily a ski brand. So um, a lot of their pants and bibs are a bit more fitted compared to like a snowboarding brand's clothes. So the first step is this bib. Um, I really like this color. Like I said, it matches my ski jacket. This one is maybe a little bit more blue, a little bit more lavender um, compared to the Burton ones. And this one um, is a really unique fabric. It kind of feels like, like a soft denim or like a soft corduroy. Um, it's, a, it's a different feeling compared to most ski pants, which have that kind of like vinyl-y um, outer material. So anyway, I thought the fabric on this was really cool. It also uh, crisscrosses in the back um, and the straps, they are, I would say like semi-adjustable. They are a overall design with buttons. So there's three button um, openings and hopefully it, you know, one of those three settings fits your torso. Um, but the back has stretchy, um, like a stretchy strap. So it should be able to like adjust and fit your body um, for the most part. These are a shorter length. Um, I actually thought they were a little bit short on me. I am five, six and a half. So maybe if you are five, four or five, five, these would be a better fit. And overall, I thought the waist fit better. Um, these are untrue to size. Um, they have a lot of pockets, really quite functional, um, great storage. And again, they have the belt loops and that front bib pocket as well. Um, this one Velcro is shut. So I thought this was a great option. Um, if you are a skier and you want something that's fitted and functional, check out um, these overalls. I also picked up a second bib from Obermeyer. In general, I was really impressed with the fit on Obermeyer. Um, price point wise, the pants and bibs run anywhere from like two to 400. So they are kind of that higher price point, um, but I thought the fit was really, really flattering. So this one is a soft shell bib and I really like the design on this. Um, it's meant to be very sleek, very kind of form fitting, um, but it's still very comfortable at the same time. And this one is insulated, so it does have a really nice fleece lining through the whole thing, so it'll keep you nice and warm. There are stretchy panels on the back and on the sides, so it really hugs your body. And in general, I would say you can kind of, you can get your normal size or you can size up for ski clothing because there's not that much difference between the sizes. And since you are wearing a lot of layers, you can kind of, um, you know, add layers to get a better fit. Um, I really like these. I thought the length was really great. I thought everything about this was just really, really flattering. Um, it's waterproof, uh, breathable, and really, really functional as well. The only thing is there aren't really many pockets. There's just one um, very small pocket on the, like right above your left hip bone. Um, so if you want to, if you're someone who carries a lot in the mountain, you want to stuff everything in your pockets instead of putting it in the locker, um, then you might not like this. But if you wear a ski jacket over your bib, which I'm assuming most people do because it's quite cold, um, then chances are your jacket will have pockets. The other con is that it's not very adjustable. Um, the top of it is kind of one whole solid piece of fabric. So there are stretchy panels to kind of get a better fit, but for the most part, like it does kind of have to fit your torso. There's, there's no adjusting the straps or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm really obsessed with it. And I think for the price, um, it's just it kind of blew my mind with how flattering and cute it is. And then the legs kind of gently flare out. It gives you kind of the illusion of curves and the bottom, um, the back of the legs have zippers so the suit can expand over your boots as well. Um, some pants have that and some pants don't. So I think it's always a great option when they do have the zippers. And Obermeyer makes pants as well. I would say they're pretty famous for their pants. So I picked up two. Um, this one is the Clio and I like how this one is designed to look like regular pants. So it's a very sleek fitting design with um, the zippers are like a metallic zipper. So it really does look like pants, especially from far away. And it's a very kind of sleek nylon material, really flattering, they really hug kind of your body. And they have these seams on the back that kind of lift your butt. I was pretty impressed with this pair. It fits very comfortably, even over base layers. Um, it has a, quite a number of pockets. There's a small one on the back, on the back waist. You have two in the front. And then the um, sides of the legs also have zippers to expand over your boots. And I just like that all the zippers on these were like 
a nice metallic contrast. Um, they come in a ton of different colors, a ton of different sizes. So yeah, check these out if you want a nicer pair of ski pants that are really flattering without being um, too expensive. I think these are like $1.99-ish, so not too bad for the quality. And then I picked up one last pair of pants from Obermeyer. So this one is the Bond pant. It's a bestseller. It's very, very popular because it's very flattering. Um, so this one, in comparison to the Clio, is more understated. Just has a very sleek looking front with um, really no pockets in the front. And the zipper details on these are more like a hidden seam. So you have a small pocket on the back waist, but I don't know if you can see that. It's like very um, hidden. It's not like a bright metallic um, zipper. And then it also has um, zippers on the sides of the legs to expand over the boots, but again, these are like a hidden kind of zipper. So if you want something that's just super sleek and doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, um, then this one, this pair might be for you. I did think the Bond pants were a bit of a, a slightly tighter fit than the Clio's. Um, these are fleece lined as well. I guess they're just meant to be a little bit more um, slimming and figure hugging. So for these, I would recommend sizing up one size, um, especially if you're going to be wearing base layers underneath. But yeah, in general, um, I really like Obermeyer. I think they're a great brand if you're a skier and the price point is not too bad. They're also um, waterproof, breathable, they have snow guards, all of that. So they have all the things, the crucial functions that you need. Oh, and then a quick note on sizing in terms of the inseam. Um, Obermeyer does offer pants in short, regular, and tall. Um, I would say if you're like 5'3 to 5'5, five, five, um, the Obermeyer pants will be great. The regular will be great for you. Um, and then if you're tall, maybe like five, eight or above, because I did try the tall and it was a little bit too long for me. But I like that they have the option for different inseams. Um, and I think overall sizing on them is really, really great. So that is everything I have for today's kind of ski pant bib try on haul. Um, overall, I was pretty impressed by Obermeyer. I thought the fit was great. Um, they don't have that many colors, but for the fit and the um, materials and everything, I thought they were a really great find, especially considering the price wasn't astronomically expensive. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping that soft shell bib. Um, I have more in-depth reviews and photos and sizing and everything um, for each individual item on my website. Um, you can check out my blog if you want to read those. And yeah, hopefully this is helpful if you have an upcoming ski trip and let me know if there are any brands that you would recommend. If you want to see more on skiing and stuff like that, then subscribe because I will have part two coming out on luxury designer ski wear um, coming out soon. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.